and then uh, then the time came and the shareholders thought uh, i should be the managing director or the ceo then uh, aviva came and there was a major change and they said uh, we want you to be the managing director i said okay but i said i am not having long term plans because i knew i there was this inner calling i want to do something else mm-hmm. so i didn't know i didn't realize that it was 20 years until uh, 2010 came <laughs> because i never went to work okay <laughs> i i mean i i, I just you enjoyed your career yeah i don't i i i i can't work right i mean who wants to work <laughs> slaves work i don't <laughs> work <laughs> oh well uh, uh, mizrachi like you come from a very ordinary family you had your uh, secondary education at at thorna sri palavidyalaya then you moved to ananda college in colombo and uh, uh, something that uh, uh, really uh, kind of surprising to me when i went through your personal details was that uh, you did not succeed at advanced levels and uh, during your time a uh, uh, son who comes from ordinary family uh, to have failed advanced level means like basically you sign your death warrant uh, <laughs> that would have been a, a huge challenge and and you resolved that uh, after eight hours you will not ask a single rupee from your parents uh, that that does the right talking for your character could you tell us uh, the the quality that was within you uh, that drove to this success even after failing advanced level you did not give up and in a recent interview you given to a weekend road trip you stated uh, i think five reasons uh, that you that you failed advanced level i would be very grateful if you can share this with us uh, uh. Uh, I don't know why I should be tell- telling about why I failed. <laughs> 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 you must tell at least now I have an MBA. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's very interesting. I uh, I failed. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, you failed at that level. Your professional qualifications and education qualifications are abundant. It's it's profuse. You know? Yeah, now you are talking. MBA to CIM to uh, marketer to so many uh, things. So actually, uh, very interesting. I. Um, Why I failed uh, A levels for the first time? I mean, I failed all all my four subjects, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we would say what are the results? Two fail, but the other two, those two also fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a time that people uh, people didn't commit suicide for failing A levels, mm-hmm. right? At Anand, uh, I mean, you have about thousand odd students doing A levels, and very few go to the university. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, you are uh, you are in the majority. It, it, it is not a major debate. It is not a debate. But of course, at home front, you know, I was the eldest in the whole family circle, and Lokwaya failing uh, A levels was a major shock to the whole system. And uh, and I've, I come from a village, right? And in the village, when you when people know that you have failed A levels, who have never been to a school, come and say, "Mahatma, you have failed." You know? <laughs> They're very happy, especially, especially when you come from village and studying in capital city. My God! I mean, the village is coming out from parents, you know, yeah. like I said, put a fail. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. uh, so then, actually, one day, and I was listening to a sermon by Hinati in Dhammaloka Hamadru. I listened to him, and he said, "This ill-trained mind does more harm to you than an enemy can do, mm-hmm. and a well-trained mind can be more helpful to you than your." on parents so in this process i identified five reasons right which are known as five hindrances in buddhism as the reasons for uh, not achieving what i set out to achieve because i had a very lofty ideal i wanted to become a doctor mm-hmm. but i was never in the class enough to know what the syllabus was mm-hmm. in chemistry you have this organic chemistry uh, some conversions or something i found them for the first time at my a level uh, examination hall <laughs> <laughs> so you know how much time i have been in the, <laughs> yes. in the class yeah i was on the prefect's room and i was in, incidentally the first uh, outside yes. students to become a prefect at uh, anand mm-hmm. anyway these five things uh, i would share for the benefit for anybody uh, i have i have developed a little acronym for this called rapid rapid right r uh, uh, so uh, it comes like um, uh, first is um, indulgence right uh, you you i mean you sit on a table like this to study then you find it's not comfortable you find a reclining chair huh? uh-huh. and then uh, you think that's not comfortable enough then i found a very comfortable way of studying that was to lying on a bed bed and read uh-huh. that was very good uh-huh. to fall asleep uh-huh. you know yeah. seeking comfort yeah. was one 
then uh, you basically enslave yourself in, in a comfort zone. Comfort zone. Then I mean, if you take today's context to a student, I mean, you want to watch TV, you want to watch movie, you want to internet, and all these things are uh, indulgence of your senses, right? Then I had friends. We had to go for movies and all that, right? Plain truant, <laughs> <laughs> because having come from uh, from the from the rural area, I got the freedom. Then second one is things that you don't like, right? Uh, you are uh, you don't see. I hate that subject, right? You say mm. things like that. When you hate, you don't touch that subject. It comes from your aversion to things. Then uh, you procrastinate. Mm -hmm. Right, you will think I will do it later. You know, not mm -hmm. now, not in the evening, but in the morning. But in the morning, you think a little later. Always postponing, and uh, indulgence, and then uh, lack of focus. You know, I remember those days. I would go to the study table. I have my physics. Then halfway through, I realize I need to do something in botany. So like that, and doubt. Right? There's a nice Pali word to say, vichikitsa. V chikitsa. V means no. Chikitsa means medicine. No medicine. Mm -hmm. So these five things, right? Restlessness, uh, aversion, uh, procrastination, indulgence, and doubt. These five you have, you always fail. So that's what happened to young uh, young Deepa Suryavati, exactly, uh, who failed the advanced level examination. <laughs> and that was the lesson that I learned. Mm -hmm. But very expensive lesson. <laughs> but that helped me throughout after the life. In that, uh, I mean, rest of the life, I really use it as my my uh, guidance. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you said that that failure was uh, was was a million dollar uh, you know uh, uh, learning for you. Now in Sri Lanka, uh, uh, we see I'm not condescending upon anyone. We see that uh, we really don't know how to appreciate the failures. We know how to appreciate, maybe abundantly, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, beyond what what is actually required to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Only the people who succeed, but we do not appreciate the failures we do not what what i mean is like we do not appreciate their attempt yeah how can we change the mindset uh, uh, mr surachi it's a very very good question uh, because uh, i think people don't uh, our education system always wants you to uh, succeed yeah. and uh, as if like everything has only one answer right now rather than saying this sum is wrong uh, can't you say that uh, uh, is there another way to work out this sum mm -hmm. rather than say you have made this sum wrong right yeah. uh, and the other thing is I find that uh, children don't uh, get into sports enough now today children don't play they get into sports mm -hmm. you know if you play cricket Right, you have to be in the first eleven. Mm -hmm. They want to be a team member uh, of because cricket it's the thing, it's yeah. the damn thing. Glamour, glamour, especially the parents. Parents, parents, you know. I mean, I mean, my I son mean, is captain in the first eleven. Yeah, I mean, you can see no parents uh, outside the uh, practice, practice grounds, grounds uh, than at a big match. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this has taken away the natural spirit of sports where you fail, right, and you learn accept defeat it's it's a very important thing because in life what is more certain more certain are failures than successes so if you can learn to face failures and accept punishments then when the place comes it's easy to handle you can see how people people get devastated when they fail no? so there's lot to be done in this arena, I think we children should be allowed to fail in things. I'm not saying go go and fail the exam somehow. No, what I'm trying to say is, even if, even if a child fails the exam, uh, don't destroy the child. There's so much in a child, uh, so much in a person, right? It's only one thing that has happened, and 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 we don't learn, we don't give feedback even in organizations. What is wrong? is what you have done not you you know there's a distinction in this mm -hmm. so if you change these things people will bounce back mm -hmm. so i think that's the point mm -hmm. uh, well uh, mrs urashi we find a lot of sri lankan companies these days uh, find it extremely difficult 
to have uh, uh, fitting applicants, especially for marketing and sales entry level positions, where the youth is very much reluctant to take up marketing or sales positions at entry level, especially. Um, as, as, as a well seasoned marketer, uh, as a person who has really studied the Sri Lanka's marketing industry, the marketing, uh, the, the, the frontier. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? What are the reasons for this? I think it's a very, very serious issue. Everybody wants to get into brand management, strategy, you know, all this PowerPoint stuff, mm -hmm. but not real thing where the tire hits the ground. That is selling. If you haven't sold anything, I don't respect that person as a marketer. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, I have gone from shop to shop selling polythene bags. I'm the first van sales rep in this country mm -hmm. to have sold polythene bags. Mm -hmm. That experience, you can't exchange for anything else. And as a CEO, what do you do? 